Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Or good afternoon, people. Can you see me? Can you see me in the screen? Yeah, yes. very good. Very good, yes. Max. Uh, yeah. Okay. Can you um, switch on, switch off the 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 mic, the microphone? Put the spanger in microphone. No? Okay. Maybe faccio, poi vi vi così. Okay. So switch on the mic. We switch off the microphone. Okay. So thank you. This is the first. Okay, of the uh, of the 2023 2023 webinars we've been doing in, in the last couple of years, we've been doing several events like this. You know, we we done them in Italian in the past, so this is the first international kind of webinar and gathering. Um, because when I was in Spain this summer, I was talking to the students, and they all seemed very very into it. So I've organized. Uh, you know, like four different seminars, I think they're four, five, anyway, four, I think, and um, webinars. So, the, you know, I'm very pleased to welcome you on this part of the world and in the air. And it's just amazing, you know, that we get in touch together through the te technology. You know, we have Greek people, we have French, we have uh, Irish, we have Italians. Uh, there were supposed to be some Americans, but they're not here. Uh, they got lost in the in the Akasha, you know, in the Akashic field. And um, so because, you know, our interest, our main interest is basically yoga, yoga therapy and Shiatsu also. Um, and because I know Katerina, I know Jacques and I know the story a little bit, you know, I thought it would be very interesting to to find out how studying and practicing these kind of disciplines you know turn their lives completely upside down in a way you know because they have probably changed quite a lot and you know and uh, become very passionate about what they're doing you know um katerina you want to start first so, you know let, let me introduce you so katerina she's from athens she lives in athens <laughs> And um, she's a yoga teacher. So she's been studying yoga for many years and she's been to India a couple of times. Yeah, I think tw twice or three. Okay, I think tw two times, yeah. Oh, so she's very dedicated. She started practicing yoga by herself, picking up different things from books and uh, other sources. You know, so she was very dedicated. I mean, she's a person, for what I know, she's a person, you know, that she's very enthusiastic about life and uh, enthusiastic about what she does. And she got completely into it. And then she came and um, she went to Spain and she studied with my colleague, Jerry, you know. She was there for three or four months, you know, like, and she did the whole course basically, which normally is done in three years, she's done it in three months. <laughs> and um, she has, uh, because of enthusiasm and, and, and energy, you know, she's got, you know, she's very energetic person. She's very enthusiastic. She has a, quite a successful practice, you know, um, treating people and teaching yoga and also teaching meditation in Athens, both from a place and then from other places, you know, so she, she actually, you know, this is a life and this is, this is a mission. And I'm always very grateful when, you know, people that I'm involved with, they embrace this kind of lifestyle with courage because it takes it takes a lot of courage nowadays, you know, to do something like this, to say, oh, wow, this is my life. You know, I want I want to live, you know, I want to do this in my life, you know, well, it takes a lot of courage, you know, a lot of energy and and vision as well, you know, so I'm always very, very, very pleased to see, you know, when people do that and uh, and you, you know, you think, well, you know, somehow what we teach 
you know, it, it's just very useful for transformation in in some people, you know. Well, in all of them, in a way, but people take it to a, a much higher level and much higher degree because they, you know, because of their involvement and because of their love and because of their commitment. And because of the heart, of course, you know, they feel, you know, this is the way I want to go in my life, you know, so that's uh, very courageous, very courageous. So what we want, the, the purpose of this meeting is like that you and Jacques will contribute, you know, uh, telling your story with Shiatsu and how Shiatsu really transformed you and has become a central part in your life yeah so we'll be very pleased to listen to both of you so we can start with Katerina yeah thank you you can open the microphone okay hello <laughs> namaste everybody <laughs> um, first of all I want to to share a big uh, thank thanks Thanks uh, for this uh, opening uh, in a, a new circle, a new circle that uh, I feel that this is a chance uh, of communication, of growing and of supporting. Um, Max uh, says, uh, right, uh, about me before, um, my incarnation in this uh, life, in this earth, um, bring me as a Greek. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, to, uh, there is many, many things that I can say about all this path. But uh, today I decided to share with you some Greek words. Uh, that these words can explain a little bit my enthusiasm about Siatsu. Uh, the first uh, word is the truth. So, uh, truth in Greek is Alicia. Uh, Alicia includes one letter, A and Lithia, that means a uh, far from Lithia is the Lithi, a continuing sleeping. So Alithia, the truth is to go further, to awake and to see the light, the truth. So, uh, Another word, I, I want to, to, to speak about two words. This is the first. The second is the sadness. Sadness in Greek uh, is stenachoria. That includes two words. Stenos, horos. Stenos is the really small, limited, space, like two walls come very close to you. And horos is the space. So sadness is stenos horos, very limited space. The feeling of very limited space. So uh, I'm very happy that my whole path bring me in Seattle because Siatsu and uh, Zen Siatsu uh, make me understand more deeply the meaning of space, how I can expand the space for me and for other people to feel comfortable to share the truth the truth of their breathing, the truth of their emotions, of my emotions also, my breathing, my state of being in a space that truth make 
all of us feel uni uh, feel uh, same, equal, uh, feel safe, a safe space to just be, just be without masks, without a role that I'm better from you or I'm stronger or I'm cl most clever or the things that the school or the society uh, raise a finger and say to us, oh no, you have to feel this, you have to feel this. So take this finger off and bring all the fingers to touch in a state of hearing, just hearing. Just uh, hear the river of the life from this body and to hear the heart from heart to heart, from human to human, not from teacher to student, not for a, a person that has bigger knowledge, just to support each other, to communicate each other and to create an expanding space of trust, of real love, not the love like uh, I want you mine or I can't teach you <laughs> or but the real meaning of love that uh, all my path is uh, is this the research about uh, what does it mean love uh, what does it mean that I can love my truth what does it mean that I expand my space and I'm feeling okay to not to feel well, to have an accident and to say the truth to my people. I have an accident because in this moment I was really a lot enthusiastic and maybe I have to keep myself back a little bit. <laughs> so Siatsu for me is, is this, is this a nice safe um, room. Um, and I believe that people nowadays, I'm living now, so uh, the people now, I believe uh, they need a lot. And it's incredible, the, the faces of the people. For me, this is, this is a great gift um, to see eyes with light, to see the face again, smile, to the people to, to feel safe and to just surrender for some moments and start to breathe again without thinking thoughts uh, how, how to stand by another person. Um, <laughs> well, that was very beautiful, you know, your description, and I liked, uh, you know, this introduction that you did with the, with the uh, Alithia or Alithia, mm -hmm. as I as I as I call it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, but how how you know because you live in Athens, you know, and and you know, like not many people know the reality about you know living in a big city or living in Greece anyway. Mm -hmm. How how easy it is or how difficult it is to because you know I always have this impression that Greece is always a little behind for the new things to arrive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So because also the like the Shiatsu Association in Greece is very new, you know, it's very recent, you know, and it's a small reality. So how how do you communicate to people? about shiatsu what what do you say how you get to people to come to you how how easy it is or how difficult it is in greece to 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 say well shiatsu maybe some people don't know about shiatsu what is it 
okay. Uh, the truth is that uh, I don't go to people to speak about Seattle. People come to me and ask me about uh, what I'm doing. And so I speak about Seattle. Many people here, they know about Seattle. Um, maybe some people they don't know, but uh, they know about Thai massage or other uh, cranial uh, therapies or other, uh, other therapies, reflexology. So uh, the people, they are very open to, to have new um, treatments. Uh, for me, it was very, uh, I, 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 it was very easy to, to uh, communicate this um, of Seattle. Uh, the people here, they, they need a lot. Um, they need a lot, uh, a new space of uh, <laughs> trust and love and uh, healing without feeling, uh, without feeling that somebody uh, has to tell them uh, what they have to correct. Um, they need uh, support. Um, and uh, I just uh, invite them to come and try. I don't say a lot of words to people. I say just that Seattle um, is, is a way of discover your breathing, your blockages. And uh, I don't speak a lot. Uh, I just invite them to, to see uh, what is it uh, from practicing this. And the people are very open to, to try new, new things, new experiences. Uh, it's, it's like uh, they are thirsty and somebody bring, bring them water to drink. So yes, thank you. I want to drink <laughs> uh, like this. But um, what I was wondering, because, you know, I, I come to Greece quite a lot, you know, in the last 25 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a feeling that, of course, you know, like people in Athens, it's a big, big metropoly, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, perhaps they're more open to it. Mm -hmm. Because it's, you know, there's a lot of more information and a lot of people from abroad coming and going. So do you feel in Athens, it's okay, it's quite easy compared to other places in Greece. Do you find uh, it? Or do you have this uh, experience? Uh, I had some experience of some very small villages uh, in Greece that uh, they, are, uh, they, they leave the, live there, some acupuncturists. Also, I want to share that uh, Seattle for Greece, it's not something new. Uh, ancient Greek people, uh, they, they use they use these uh, things. So uh, the knowledge there is from, from from the past, and the academy here in Athens speak about also the traditional Greek medicine that is very similar uh, from traditional Chinese medicine, and. Um, for sure, for sure, in Athens is easier, uh, but also in other places in Greece, it's not so much difficult. Um, I have some friends that they, they live in some islands that they are doing there. Uh, I don't have uh, Seattle friends, uh, but uh, they give their Thai masters. So slowly, slowly the people, uh, the villagers open to to this uh, kind of uh, treatment. And um, because you also teach yoga, and you've been doing yoga for much longer than shiatsu, and I think. Yeah. How do you find? Uh, you know, you think the the two can combine together to create something more. Uh, interactive and much more thorough, much more deep as a kind of healing, uh, healing path for the people. 
Do you feel that? Yes, of course. Uh, the truth is that I start Siatsu from yoga. Uh, some moments uh, after the lesson, uh, I had the feeling to go close to the person and to touch the person. Um, from yoga, the stronger idea that uh, transformed me, it was the uh, ahimsa, the no violence. So sometimes in the yoga lessons, yoga classes, I felt the people suffer from violence. So the body was very um, um, tight and uh, stressful. And I felt that the people try uh, with violence. So Ahimsa make me uh, understand them and make me to go closer to them and to give a hand uh, just to touch them and to feel this. And I understand immediately that the person relaxed. So, uh, like, uh, like this, uh, my path of Siatsu start. The people start to um, talk to me and to share that uh, this touching was incredible, amazing, and make me feel uh, relaxed and safe and something uh, move inside of me. And uh, you have magical hands. <laughs> and uh, OK, I say, what, what is this? Uh, I, I go there just to hear. And that was the start, uh, to hear. And Siatsu, after all this studying, uh, I realized that is uh, an art of hearing. So of course, I believe that yoga and Siatsu, it's combined uh, really well. It's like a female and male come together because the yoga you can share with many people um, but siatsu you can share with two people also both of them you can practicing by yourself uh, i believe is it's very it's it's a, a line between them it's 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 strongly connected yeah great and so you better recover from your injury because you owe me a treatment, do you remember? What, sorry? You must give me a treatment. Last time I was in Athens, I gave you a yeah. treatment. Yes, yes. So when I come at the end of April, you must give me one. <laughs> okay, yes, <yeah>, sure. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Katerina. Um, Thank you. I don't know Thank if anyone know. has any questions to ask, otherwise we I introduce Jacques. Okay, so Katrina, can you turn off your microphone? Switch yes. off the microphone. Thanks, so, a lot. thanks a lot. Thank you, thank you again. Thank you again. So we, you know, I will say I'm very happy because we are, you know, from different countries, and I would like to introduce the next the next guest, which is Jacques. And Jacques is from France, but it's, uh, you know, it, he actually lived all over the world. You know, I mean, he has a really interesting background. I mean, you know, he's, Jacques studied Shiatsu with uh, me and Jerry in Spain. And on the first level, he was with Katerina, yeah? So they were together on the first level. Then Jacques finished um, last October, yeah? I think it was last October. And um, but he has a very interesting um, background because he worked, you know, then he can tell us, but he worked for very, very big company as a kind of head, uh, top manager. Yeah. So when he did the first level, he was flying. I think it was during COVID, if I remember, he lived in, he was living in Cambodia. He was, you know, top manager of this company in Cambodia, you know, multinational. And he was flying from Cambodia to, to Spain to do the, to do the Shiatsu course. And I thought, wow, you know, that's, 
incredible. I mean, in a way, you know, like people, you know, people's dedication, you know, and not everyone, not many people would do that because it was also very costly for him because he was telling me when he was, yeah, when he had to go back, he had to stay in quarantine in a hotel and pay something like $2,000, wasn't it? Was it like $2,000 to the Cambodian government? Something crazy, you know? But anyway, uh, he now lives with his wife and uh, some of his children, he has four children, or oh, grown up now, you know? In the South France, I went to visit him last uh, summer, just briefly, I was driving through France and he has an amazing, really amazing place in the south of France, you know, really, really nice. So I hope, you know, to 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 do organize something there sometime, you know, it will be wonderful because it's really, really nice place. But, you know, I want to leave now the space to, to, to for Jack to tell us a little bit about his passion and his love for Shiatsu, how he came to Shiatsu and how Shiatsu really changed his life path, you know. Thank you. Thank you, Massimo. Uh, hello to everyone. Good evening, everyone. So I'm uh, very grateful to Massimo to invite me uh, to speak about Shiatsu. And I think it's the first time in my life I, I do a webinar, not talking about uh, profit and loss and people management and strategy, just talking about Shiatsu and healing. So the way I came to Shiatsu, as Massimo says, by playing. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> from Cambodia. Um, I did start Shetsu at I was 50 years old. Um, and uh, to be clear, uh, Massimo, how long do you give me to talk about that? Because I, I think I can talk one day. Half an hour or as long as people <laughs> can resist. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, because for me, it's clear that uh, I didn't walk up one day and say, okay, I'm going to take a flight. I'm going to meet Massimo and take my chat to level. So it has been a long way to go and a long journey. And um, yeah, I was a general manager for a big tobacco company for, for quite some time. And I've been working 30 years for a big company. And uh, always traveling around the world in Africa, Europe, and uh, the past, the last post uh, I've got was in Cambodia. And Cambodia has been one, I think, a key destination for me, not only as a country, but also as a, as a journey for myself. Um, uh, because I was landing in a Buddhism country and, uh, and uh, I was very pleased and open to discuss and and go through this Buddhism uh, walkthrough, I would say. And so I was really, really open-minded when I arrived in Cambodia. And day by day, I started to do a, a yoga. And uh, I make the bridge with yoga because I cannot go to Chiasu without starting with the yoga. That's... Uh, so my, my own journey starts with the yoga in Cambodia. And I was not supple at all. I was not flexible on my body and also my mind was not flexible at all. And, uh, and I say, right. So I did start in Cambodia. Why? Because um, uh, in every corner in Phnom Penh, you have a, a, a yoga, yoga, yoga class you, in every, every corner. So I say, okay, let's, let's have a go. And with my wife, and um, the first the first lesson was chaotic for me. I <laughs> said, "Oh my gosh, <laughs> cannot be!" And the guy was uh, talking about asana posture, Sanskrit talks, and uh, I don't understand one word the guy was saying. He was so smiling, doing asana without any effort. I was sweating like a crazy dog, and I said, "Wow!" And uh, and uh, but at the end of this one hour class, I say, oh, I feel better. Uh, was a damage in my own ego, but also feel better. So, and this is where I say, oh, that's something interesting now to realize. So, and um, day by day, I start to practice more and more. And uh, I was attending uh, some yoga retreat or so in, in Cambodia. 
in a, in a, in a very, very isolated part of the country, um, taking care of the poor people also, because that was part of this yoga class that I was attending. Uh, so you bring food, you bring, uh, you bring whatever to these uh, poor people and also yoga. So we were doing yoga with very poor people in the north of the country or very small, tiny village, very difficult to get access to. And, uh, and I say, oh, so that's, you see something, you start to feel you do something good for yourself and probably for the others. Um, and this is where more and more gradually and uh, I felt more, more open to this uh, yoga world and uh, more open to the energetic field. And of course, uh, uh, you start to meet people in the same atmosphere, in the same environment, in the same mindset. So you start to meet yoga teacher and uh, you start to meet uh, acupuncture and uh, and I start to meet a yoga practitioner in uh, 200 meters from the place I was living. There was a yoga practitioner, uh, chetsu practitioner, but he was from the school of Namikoshi. That was a kind of painful exercise for me. So, <laughs> and uh, during my work, I was spending eight hours a day, 10 hours a day in meetings, meetings, meetings. And uh, of course, with a lot of pain on my body. And uh, yoga helped me also uh, to release kind of pain. And the Chetsu practitioner also helped me, but I didn't enjoy really the Chetsu part of this treatment. I was more enjoying and appealing to, to deep dive more in the yoga. Uh, because yoga is about alignment, questioning, alignment, soul and body. And that this kind of territory was very, very attractive for me. And I start to read books. I start to drop completely the management book and leadership books and all that. And I was more keen and winning and open and uh, reading books of yoga, Ayurveda, and all that. So my brain started to shift day by day. And uh, the way I start to manage my team also was a bit different, it was more calm, quiet, uh, more flexible under. Uh, the way I deal with and talk with my family, with my four kids, also was a bit different. So, so yoga started to bring me in another space, I would say. Um, and then um, my wife went to uh, attend a yoga teacher uh, with uh, Jerry and uh, Massimo, probably, you were there, or, or another, another great teacher. No, that was Jerry. Well, for sure, Jerry. And uh, she said to me that I've met a very, very interesting professional people and teacher with an amazing knowledge about body and energetic field. And uh, this is the kind of things you always talk and you, you always talk, but now I think you probably do a, a step in. And take me some time. Uh, take me about probably one hour, one year to, to digest. <laughs> all this idea and um, alongside that I've always heard by um, people that I've got something in my hand uh, since I was young since I was you know and uh, with my kids I always say when you when you touch someone we feel secure you have your arm uh, very warm and uh, again a uh, give already a kind of energy so anyways things you know my, my brain starts to be more open and uh, and uh, so, okay let's have a try let's have a try to book a uh, year one training for chetsu in the in the in the in the, in the sim academy in spain yeah indeed a very long flight <laughs> it's a very long flight before covid it's a 24 hours because there was no flight because with COVID, everything was top. I have to go through Korea. And uh, anyway, and the, on the way back, I have to stay, as Massimo mentioned, two weeks in quarantine and $2,000. So yeah, that was really a big, a, a big step for me. So I say, okay. And when I arrived in Spain, I was... That's the kind of things you feel, yeah, this is a place I want to be now, you know, and uh, 
with Massimo and Jerry. So they have created this, uh, this academy and training um, such a high level for me and uh, with their own style and also a lot, a lot of um, uh, life experience, I would say. So the ways I've been uh, coaching, training and educating and very patient because <laughs> start this new world for me at 50 was a very, very difficult. Uh, I didn't know what, to be honest, I said sometimes, I didn't know what where my stomach was in my in, in my belly. I said, I don't know. I never talked to my stomach, you know. <laughs> I'm talking to my computer. And uh, so that was this kind of big shift I have to make in my in my in my brain. Um spleen. What is spleen? What is the role of a spleen? I've no I, I don't have a clue about spleen. I don't have a clue about kidney, kidneys for peace. That's it for me. So and after three weeks of uh, this level one, I said, wow, I start to understand my body, <laughs> you know, this body where I'm living for 50 years now. And, and then you start to, to revisit your own life. And I say, ah, oh, start to understand why I've got so many injuries when I was young. I understand why my, my liver was blocked at some, at some stage in my life. And uh, because the link between emotions and organs and meridians, they, they make it also very clear from the Chetsu level one. So all that start to be very, very massive information for me, massive and so exciting. I say, okay, so after three weeks, I went back to Cambodia and I start to practice. And if and I was start even to practice to my um, to my friends in Cambodia, but also to my supplier. I say, I say, I'm a I've never one of a chatsu massage, and uh, you need to try. And one of the surprises, it was a lot of, it was a full of pain. He was a pain man. And I said, okay, let's try to give you know some uh, some good treatment. And uh, I also start to uh, to give treatment to yoga teacher, my yoga teacher. And she said, yeah, very good, Jack. You know, you a good start. So you. There is something for you in this area. So I was, uh, yeah, I was very pleased and I was very happy, you know, to say, okay, so there is a new thing, probably a new, new destiny for me somewhere. But uh, at the same time, you start to question about, do you still want to be a general manager for the next 20 years selling tobacco across the world? So, you know, these kind of questions. And... Uh, the COVID also has an impact, you know, uh, is, let's be clear. And I would say COVID has an impact. And Jacques, you need to think about different now with the COVID. You cannot manage your life as before and after as nothing happened or something happened. And, uh, and I said, okay, so everything put together. And, uh, I did attend the level two. I said, okay, I, I will come back. Whatever the cost, whatever the, the things, I will definitely go back to level two from Spain. <laughs> Because I couldn't, uh, I couldn't go and escape from my from my position more than three weeks. Uh, so I did attend level two and uh, was a, a, a fantastic uh, course. Again, I say uh, I really want to, I really want to finish these courses and I really want to become a practitioner for, for, for of uh, of Chetsu because. For me, it's not only the practitioner of Chetsu; it's all the world behind that. Uh, behind the curtain, everything, the philosophy, the readings, the connection with yoga, with Ayurveda, with everything, the yin, the yang, the fifth elements, all the literature is very exciting to me. And uh, so I need to, I need to be, uh, to be fed. And, um, but I'm also a company to manage and a big company to manage. <laughs> So, and uh, I've been quite lucky, I have to say, because my contract was terminating uh, by December and uh, I've managed my company to say, okay, you should let me go. I'm 50, you should let me go. And it takes about eight months uh, of negotiation and they have been very helpful and uh, open-minded. And, um, and then uh, finally, yeah, and uh, with my wife, he said, okay, now let's try to, uh, I wanted to complete it and to terminate this level three, that was uh, last year, October. Uh, again, I came back. 
<laughs> from Cambodia and uh, and then come back to Cambodia for the, to 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 terminate my contract. At the same time, with Sophie, we bought a house in a, a property in south of France, um, between Marseille and Saint Tropez, and uh, it's a it's a big area where we wanted to create something for for us for and for others um, that we can welcome them in a, in a in a nice place, nice environment that we can provide a treatment of uh, uh, healing and well-being treatment, but also a place where we can rent houses and also we can uh, uh, welcome some, uh, some uh, therapist uh, if they want to organize seminar. Uh, so we have Qigong seminar, yoga seminar now. So, so we, at the same time, we have this place and uh, we call it Solidaire, a solidarity place, because we also refund some uh, uh, ONG, uh, NGO that we are funding uh, in Africa and Asia and Europe. So we have five NGOs that we are helping. So this place also helps us also to be more and more and more involved in the NGOs that we have across the world, uh, five. So, and... Uh, I've been very lucky because I see all this planet has been aligned in one week. And I say, I say to my, to my boss, well, game over for me is clear. <laughs> and I really love these things. I really love this new territory. At the same time, I realize with my, with my mom that I have the power also to cut the fire with my hand. And uh, at the same time, everything starts to be more and more and more, um, a clear and obvious to me that I need to spend more time in the energetic field and the chetsu was was a clear, clear vehicle for me to help me to jump into that. Um, so I, I'm I'm very happy and pleased to have met uh, Jerry and Massimo and uh, and another guy of this uh, dream team. Um, so what chetsu has changed in my life? Back to this basic question. Um, a lot, <laughs> a lot, uh, a lot, yeah. Jacques, sorry. I want to ask you because I was curious. There is, there is, have there been a period of transition where you were in doubt, where you felt, oh God, what am I, am I doing the right thing? You know, am I doing the right thing for me, for my family? You know, am I going to be, create problems? Mm. Did you, um, did you experience that period of transition where you're thinking, well, am I doing the right thing, choice? Um, I think I'm, I'm, that's the kind of question I, I start to have now more, uh, to be honest, uh, in a, very more often. But because it's a new territory for me, you know, I have to manage everything on myself. Uh, I don't have any more people to manage, you know, I don't want to, so I have to manage everything by myself and with my wife, you know. Um, so the, the most difficult part for me and still, uh, to be honest, to, is to settle down in a new village, in a new city, sorry, where we have no history in this city. Uh, we just arrived and put the luggage here because we enjoy the place. <laughs> Say, let's buy this property and try to, to seed something in this uh, in this city in this town, so it's a it's a completely new life. Uh, we didn't have any things in France before uh, we arrived in Brignol. So, so this kind of question, of course, uh, doubt doubt about do we do the right things? Not really. That is, can we live uh, with? How long can we live in a place where? we will have to stay more than three years because all my life, the last 30 years was every three years, I have to move on to a new country. So now, now our, our biggest challenge is, you know, do we enjoy? Do we enjoy living in France after 25 years abroad? <laughs> what is this country? And, um, and how can we make ourselves um, and build a network in a in a short time 
to make people aware about our practice of chatsu and also the place what we try to do, the Domaine de Olivier. Uh, yeah, I've got some doubt for sure. Um, now, in terms of uh, my practice here, Massimo, since uh, I came back from the last uh, uh, last uh, level three uh, training, uh, um, a lot of things change. Um, I do practice with my own family first, and uh, and something that's changed also because even my my boys now or girls, and they say, "Okay, daddy, I've got a pain here. You need to fix it." And now. I, they would have never said that to me three years ago. Never, <laughs> never. <laughs> so that's the basic things change. And uh, you see in the high, this kind of new connection with my family members, even, even with my friends. Uh, we have some friends. So I've been giving a lot of treatment to friends and family. And, and uh, recently last month, I've created this on my own site, website, when I start to to, to make it more aware, public uh, uh, on, the, on, the, on the network. So I've changed my Facebook profile or so to say, okay, now this is my new world. And uh, even me changing a Facebook profile, that was a pain. It's, the, it's a pain. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, that's one of the beauty of, of touch, you know, like that you... Yeah. Sometimes you no. don't, you don't need words, but you you touch the soul. You know, you touch the skin, but you touch the soul of the person. You know, and yeah. relationship do change a lot. You know, just really amazing. Yeah, and um, I'm very pleased. Yeah, I've got a few 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 customers. Uh, um, sometimes it's quiet. Sometimes it's very busy. And uh, as we have also renting some houses in our properties. People come to see also the chat. So, you know, people arrive, say, Oh, you do Prachu, can I get a massage? And they say, Yeah, of course you can. And uh, so this is a kind of, uh, of a, not business model, but uh, way, things we want to we we want to to build here in Brigno. And uh, this is definitely step, a, a big step, but also a very small step. Uh, um, because the chatsu and everything behind the chatsu and link with the chatsu is, is huge and massive. And uh, I'm just at the beginning of a journey. I'm aware of that. But I'm very pleased because people are, people are, are feels released after any, any treatment. You know, they have a new face, new smile, they sleep better, they, they feel better. And I said, that's for me, it's a, it's a gift. It's a gift. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, it's it's a small step, but it's a big step at the same time. I mean, you know, when, exactly. Yeah. When you feel, you know, that someone really, you know, puts upside down, you know, completely change. I mean, you know, it takes courage. As I say mm -hmm. to Katerina, you know, you know, it takes a lot of courage, especially, you know, you're not yeah. you're not so young anymore. I mean, you know. No. <laughs> but yeah, before also, taking... also, as you say, you know, we never lived more than three years in one country. Can we manage to live the rest of our life in France? You know, perhaps you know, you know it's a big, big thing. Yeah, yeah. But also, yeah. I mean, in order, sorry, in order to be a practitioner, she has a practitioner. You need to be in one place. That's that's the thing. You know. So. Yeah, absolutely. And I think I've been also very lucky because my wife has been and my kids have been very, very supportive. You know, when you've got the the full support, of course, there is a big financial impact on our day to day life. That's clear. It's a yeah. you move from there to there, uh, yeah. even yeah. below. <laughs> so it's clear. So. Uh, but uh, yeah, great support and uh, to say just just keep going, do what you want to do, and and you will see. Well, uh, you you gain a lot of in quality of life, that's for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, less stress for sure. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm really pleased that we did this uh, web, you know, this talk on uh, online. Thank you. Because, uh, I don't know, it's really nice to, 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 to feel, you know, that in a way what we do with teaching has some impact on people. And that, yeah. that tells me that, you know, it's the right way to go, even for me, you know, because I, I do enjoy teaching and, uh, you know, I enjoy it much, much more when I see that this, what I do helps people to transform into a better, a better version of themselves you understand i mean a better yeah. version of themselves that's yeah. that, that's 
that's amazing you know i don't know if thank you I... thank you very much huh, for all this journey well oh, pleasure you know i'm sure we'll cross path again <laughs> oh of course very soon, very soon, you know? <laughs> also i mean i think your wife is coming in july no i heard she won't yeah i heard she wants to join yeah. yeah i've heard that so you know that's it <laughs> okay i don't know if anyone has any question to to, to for for jack Otherwise... thanks very much jack that was really really interesting i think uh, sure. sorry <laughs> um i just need to go because a visitor has just arrived at the door but okay. um i'd be really interested to find out about your property in france yeah, yeah. I put so, you in touch, Jackie. Yeah. I put you in touch. No problem. As a retreat center. So um Yeah, we are yeah. Thank you. I'll I'll put you in touch. Okay. All right. I must go. Thank you very much. Thanks, okay. Jack. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. Thank Hi you Katerina. Hi Sarah, how are you? Hi. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Okay, so it was very nice to have you all here. And the next uh webinar has been on the 16th of uh april with uh molly kaufman she's a good friend and a good colleague we've been working together for a number of years teaching uh, yoga you know doing yoga teacher training you know and she's an amazing 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 person she's also an acupuncturist so she will talk about essential oils and the the the, the property of essential oils that you can use essential oils with chinese medicine you know, because lately she's been using a lot of essential oils with uh, acupoints and stuff like that. So it will be very, very interesting for you that you do shiatsu in a way that opens, uh, you know, completely new field in a way and spread the word. I mean, if you have friends and people who are interested, you know, you just send the link, you know, like uh, this is an open space for everyone to 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 talk, mm. and to ask and to share. OK, yeah. OK, yeah. Okay, Jacques and Caterina, thank you very much for showing, for sharing, you know, this. Thank you. Spirit. Thank you, Mark. That was wonderful. Thank you, Jack, also. Thank you. And thank you. Good to see you, Caterina. <laughs> me too, me too. And thanks, Sara, also. <laughs> that you're here. Okay. Nice. See you, everyone. See you, Nico. Thank you. Thank see you. Uh, Sylvia. Ciao. Bye. Ciao, 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 ciao